Today I'll be testing out our oven. Um, we had troubles with our oven last year when we took delivery of the camper. Uh, we covered this in our six month review video, but um, essentially the flame and pilot light would completely go out once the stove got up to the desired temperature. What's supposed to happen is the flame is supposed to decrease to maintain that temperature. Um, and then even when you turn it back to the pilot light, that should stay on until you turn it completely off. Um, but in our case, the pilot light and the flame completely went out. My understanding is that they replaced the pilot light mechanism um, when we took it in to be serviced last fall. Uh, but unfortunately, our camper went directly into storage, so we never actually had a chance to test it out. So that's what I'm going to do today. I do have a piece of frozen pizza ready to cook if it does work. And I will be following the instructions directly from the manual to make sure I don't make any mistakes. I turned the gas on um, outside the camper and then I came in. Uh, first step is to open up the door and smell for gas. You shouldn't try to actually light it if you smell for gas. You shouldn't smell any gas yet because uh, the knob should be in the off position. I also do have a temperature gauge here so we'll be able to check um, how closely the oven actually gets to the temperature that I set the knob at. Now I'll turn the knob to the pilot position and push it in. And then I'll push on our ignition clicker. It does say if you don't have the clicker, you can use a lighter. And I know our um, stovetop things take a while to light too. Also, if there's air in the line, that might uh, take it longer too. So the pilot light is now lit and it says that you're supposed to continue to hold in the knob for five to second, seven seconds. And if the pilot light goes out, you should um, start over by turning the knob off and starting over. The pilot light going out could mean there is air in the line, which can happen if you haven't used it for a long time. I'm going to let go and see what happens. So as soon as I let go, it went out. So we will attempt to do this again. So it's lit. I'm going to hold it for another five to seven seconds. Hopefully this is bleeding the air out of the line. I'm gonna go a little longer this time. And let go. Okay, so I let the knob out. It's still in pilot position, but I'm not holding it in and the pilot light stayed on. So I think that's a good sign. So the next thing we're gonna do is turn the knob to the desired temperature. I'm gonna go up to 325. So you just turn the knob and the flame should get larger. I'm gonna go 350 actually. Uh, so you can see the flame now. I'm gonna close the door and just keep an eye on this to make sure it doesn't go out and I'll keep an eye on the temperature gauge. Um, and again, what happened last year that hopefully is fixed is once it got up to the 350, it would then completely turn off. And what we really want it to do is just reduce the flames to maintain that temperature. It, it's kind of hard to tell because um, this uh, door window got really foggy, but I'm keeping an eye on the temperature gauge and the flame is still strong. So it's looking good so far. We're just, the needle just started moving. So um, we'll see if it gets up to 350 and if it stays on. So it seems to be maintained the temperature just a little bit below 400, even though I set it at, at uh, 350, but the flame and pilot light have not gone out yet. So that's a good sign. I'll see if I can show you that flame a little bit better from underneath. So this is what the flame looks like uh, once it got up to temperature. It, it looks like it decreased a little bit, but not, not a ton. Um, and again, like I set it at 350, but it, it got almost to 400. So I'm gonna throw the pizza in and see if it uh, stays on for the entire time cooking that. So at this point, the pizza's been cooking for almost 15 minutes and it's looking like it's almost done. 
I do want to point out that the temperature gauge actually kind of backed off and it's just a little bit below 350 now. Originally it went up all the way to 400, but after I put the pizza in, um, it went down a bit and now it's sitting just below 350. I have the knob turned at 350. The last thing I want to do is just turn the knob back to pilot. So when I'm going to do that now, what, what should happen is the flame should go out, but the pilot light should stay on. I'm actually not on. So there, I'm on pilot. And if you can see that the flame went out, the pilot light's still on. That is what's supposed to happen. And then um, I'll turn the knob all the way off now, and that's when it should turn completely off. And it did. So it does seem that... Um, the fix worked and we can start using our oven again so uh, we'll probably look for some fun recipes to to do and maybe we'll uh, make a video with with some suggestions and tips on uh, best ways uh, to use the oven we don't plan on using the oven a lot while we're camping uh, we pretty much didn't use it at all last year because it wasn't working correctly uh, but it is nice to know that um, it is functional now um, if and when we we choose to use it uh, please leave us a comment if you have any suggestions or questions for us, um, even if you have some recipe ideas of things that we can try in the oven now that it's working. Happy camping, and thanks for watching.